Hey guys, what's up? You're to Minecraft. Today I'll be showing you how to make a locking chest tutorial. So it's very useful, but it, you can only make it out of cobblestone or uh, wood to make it look completely uh, blended in. So first off, guys, you just need to make a two block high single pillar with a space between it. So you need to make, uh, it depends on how many you want. For this, I'm going to leave four spaces because I'm going to uh, use four large chests. So basically, that is what you need to do with your smooth stone or your wood uh, or your smooth stone, your cobblestone or your wood and then what you need to do is you need to just place your chests and this is where we're going to like place our chests and uh, we're going to, for this I'm just going to make them large chests just to make it interesting uh, so basically that is it, this is the back of it and this is going to be the front of uh, the locking chest so what you need to do is you need to decide where you want your, to make your lever for, for this I'm going to go, just going to place it here so we just need to make an extra block of cobblestone so the next thing you need to do guys is you need to get a, a stair block it can only be wood or cobblestone for this one I'm make, using cobblestone because I'm making the whole thing out of cobblestone and you need to place it from behind so it makes a complete wall at the front so basically our stairs is facing towards our chest and as you can see it makes a complete wall at the front so that's basically uh, the wall made so the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, put our lever in place so I'm just going to put place mine there uh, we're going to just place a block there and then we're just going to run redstone like so uh, for now I won't do any more wiring but what we need to do now is we need to install our sticky pistons so what you need to do is you need to leave a one one block gap between uh, each chest and just place uh, some sort of a block that will hold a sticky piston then you need to just get your sticky piston and face it towards the chest like so oh fail I think I always have a fail in on every one of my videos so as you can see the sticky pistons are face, facing forward so now we can go ahead and we can just place a block on top of it and the purpose of this block is it locks the chest so as you can see you can open the chest with the stairs on top but if I place a block there I can't open the chest so just go ahead and place a block over each one of your chest at the stairs and that's basically all the building done so the next thing we need to do is we need to just uh, make an inverter here if I can find my torches oh god like so so you just need to invert the circuit because this is means that when the power is going to be off the pistons are going to be on so the next thing you need to do is just run redstone like so I don't know how far yet and then you just need to get a repeater and face them into the bottom oh, fell, the bottom block of each uh, sticky piston and then just connect the whole lot of them with using redstone dust like so and then that's all you need to do guys you just go ahead and you can just wire it in like so and I'll just show you how it works so basically the, the chests are all locked now I'll just show you I'm not punching the chests because as you can see it's, it's breaking it and I'm right clicking so when I go ahead and I switch the lever it's going to uh, retract the pistons like so and now I can put stuff into my chest every one of them is the same so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, hopefully you can subscribe so you can be the first to get my tutorials when they're uploaded and I know I'm doing this like thing so hopefully I could get 25 likes in this video it's just to keep you interested and also if you could comment below and say tutorials that you'd like me to do because I have tutorials but I don't know if you'll enjoy them or not but any feedback you guys can give me it would be like great so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, and I shall see you all for more tutorials soon